Hey, Sandy here on lower back pain, upper back pain, and simple ways to get out of it. And of course, it's not just exercise, it's hydration, nutrition, how you sleep, how you eat, what you drive, and little habits during the day. But you'll find that in another video. So for right now, how to bring the Swiss ball in every single day of your life. So first of all, stretch out your back muscles. Thumbs are facing backwards. Oh, and then slightly over to your right, let the ball move. Come back into the center and slightly over to your left. Back into center. Of course, you can do more than one each if you want. Hold here, bring your hands together. Drop your hands down behind your head. Now push your head into your hands. You're gonna feel your upper back, your lower back. And then just relax. Do it again. Strengthening the neck muscles from looking at your computer and your phone all day. And one more, you don't need to do a lot because this is a wake up routine. Maybe 15 minutes before you go to work every day. And coming back down, go ahead and bring your arms in behind you. Open out your pecs, working your thoracic, lower back. You can take a little bounce now. That sends them over your fluid or through the vertebras of your spine. But of course you have to hydrate as well. Once you've done a few little bounces, hands on your hips. Zip up the tummy again, sit tall, rotate your pelvis under. Now be cautious not to do it with your legs, you're doing this with your pelvis. You'll notice a C curve in the front and a C curve in the back. C curve in the front, work on about a number of 10 each way. Couple more, feels yummy, you will find and you will notice a little bit of pain, just ignore it. Go side to side, it's like doing a little dance. Keeping the zip on the tummy, hiding your spine. Use your breath. Be aware if you hold your breath. Now we're gonna come into a figure eight. The figure eight is out to the side. So we go round to the side, and you may feel a little uncomfortable and unsteady. That will improve. Round to the side. Now the trick here is reversing your figure eight. Don't worry if you get a little stuck here, have a laugh at yourself. Figure eight, figure eight. And all the attachments from your lower back into your pelvis start to let go, namely your QLs and multiplicates. Beautiful. Now, continuing on, we're going to come into our feet slightly forward, hands on the legs, drop your head. You'll feel this in your upper back. Tuck in and start to roll down as you lift your feet up. Now you're going to feel your calves, hamstrings, and lower back. Tuck in, roll back up, and hold. Do about five of these. Tuck in, roll down. Make sure your head comes with you. Wherever you're tight, you will feel it. Lower back, calves, hamstrings. Pull the elbows behind you to work your back muscles when you sit up. Tuck in, in and you're just starting to nurture, release your body. Rather than going to work or starting your day tight, put a little bit of time and attention into releasing, whether it's injuries or age. Nurture your body out of this discomfort, out of pain. And I'm gonna do one more. Hold it a little bit longer, the last one. Notice the release. And tuck in and roll your way back up. Now, rotation. Bring your feet back underneath your knees. Put your right hand on your left leg, push your leg into your hand, and then just turn and look over. So be cautious not to pull yourself around, but push yourself around. Come back and center. Left onto right, push into the hand, and rotate. Ideally, you wanna get your hand into the middle of the back of the ball. And a couple more. You'll feel the release and rotate. And one more time. Really emphasizing the push of the leg into the hand. Beautiful. Now we work up to thoracic and hold. Zip the tummy again. Drop your shoulders down. Exhale, rotate to the left. Back into your center. Exhale, rotate to your right. Checking your neck goes with you. And again, ideally lining your chin up with your wrist. Keeping them in alignment. And back into center. And one more. Back into center. Go ahead now and reach up and see how much better that feels. Reach through the fingers 
And right down to your toes and hold. And come back down. There's plenty more you can do, but start your day with that. And also another little tip that take one of these and put it by your desk and try and spend half your day doing your computer work on your Swiss ball because then you can just get yourself out of that tightness whenever you want to and create lower pelvic floor muscles. Hope you enjoyed.